Okay, welcome to another megahobby.com product review and how-to tidbit. And what we're going to talk about today quickly is AK Interactive's line of true metal colors. Um, this being aluminum, number 455. The really cool thing about this product is that it's not really paint. What it is is it's kind of a paste that you can mix down and use as a paint or you can use it direct and use it to highlight details on metal objects or even paint a metal object and buff, um, buff it so that it gets shinier. Um, what we're going to do with it, we're going to show you how to weather the tracks on a tank or any other metal object using this product straight out of the tube. We're going to keep some white spirit handy, that's number 4047, AK Interactive. And what I'll do is I'll take this tube and it's almost like toothpaste or oil paint and you just squeeze a little bit of it out, cap it back up tight, don't want air in there. Then what I like to do is take a popsicle stick and just mix it down a little bit so that if there's any residual medium it'll mix back into the pigment. Get that nice and smooth, get it mixed up. Then I'll take a square chisel type paintbrush and I'll grab a paper towel so that I can wipe the brush off while I do this. And I'll take this material or this true metal, put it on my paintbrush, then I like to drag it across my paper towel to the point where there's almost no paint left on the brush. It's called a dry brush. And as I do this, you can see the detail on the paper towel, so you know you're doing it right. So almost no paint on there. We'll go over to the tracks on the tank, and you'll see there's little ridges and little rivets. And as I drag this across, since there's very little paint, it just catches the highlights on the tracks. It'll catch those ridges, and if I do it really gently the opposite direction, it'll pick up all those little rivets that hold the track links together. And just It's basically a scrubbing motion. Just control your paintbrush. I went a little heavy right there, but I can smooth that out with some thinner. Just take this forward, put a little bit more on there, and like I say, you're creating a dry brush. You're taking almost all the paint off of that brush. And then just basically dragging across the surface. And I'm picking up all the little rivet, or all the little, um, raised areas here, the lines, but I want the rivet, so I'm just going to very gently go through each section, just try to just touch the top of the highlights on the, the details. And that's how you use true metal to dry brush some detail on metal objects, like tracks on a tank. You could do them on guns and things that are on the, the vehicle. Anything that's metal that you want to highlight, you can use that product. 